Hey y'all, my name is Amber. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a wrap up of everything that I read this, oh my gosh, May. I can't believe that June's upon us. I'm actually, so the time I'm filming this, it is May 26th. Uh, which is a Thursday, but hopefully I can have it uploaded by this weekend or even later on today. I'm going to my internship today, and I thought, why not share with you all what I read this month? Um, I have not picked up a book this week, so hopefully I can work on that. I've just, it's just been really crazy. Like, I'm trying to, like, figure out my schedule now that I'm working summer school and internship this summer. So, but yeah, let's just jump right into what I've read top to bottom or bottom to top. Let's do top to bottom. This is what I've recently finished, which is Evelyn Hugo, or sorry, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I have to say, this book is definitely worth the hype. I enjoyed every single thing. Um, I gave it five stars. If you don't know what this book is about, um, Oh my gosh. So Evelyn Hugo, who's an icon basically, is reaching out to this journalist named Monique to tell her life story. And I'll leave it at that. I didn't want to read the back. I'm trying to not like give away too much of the synopsis because I know that can sometimes like give away the plot, even if it's just like the littlest detail. But I just love this book. Evelyn is hands down one of my favorite characters I think I have ever read. Um, I just love the way how she's not apologetic and she, you know, she owns what she did and her mistakes in life. And yeah, I just love this book. I gave it five stars. The book after that that I read was Emily Henry's Book Lovers. And I have to say, I really like this book. If y'all know me, y'all know this channel. I struggled really, really hard with getting into people we met on vacation and I have Beach Read I have not read yet. But I really love this book. If you don't know what it's about, it's about Nora and her sister Libby and they go to this small town in North Carolina that's actually like a town that one of Nora's clients wrote and Nora is like this book, I think she's a book editor um, or I should say a book agent and yeah the story just kind of launches off from there and before she goes to this town she has an encounter with a guy um name charlie and charlie is one of my favorite book boyfriends like i i love charlie love charlie he's top tier book boyfriend material if i do say so myself um and yeah this this book is so cute and i think the reason why i liked it is kind of, it's kind of like a spoof on romantic comedies or just like romantic movies in general and nora and charlie are just really I can't relate to them in the sense of like they're like kind of older than me they are older than me by like 10 years but i can relate to them on a fact of with how they view romance and how sometimes it's just very like over the top and sometimes it's not like that and i like that they're very different from couples that i've read um i won't give too much away in that but i really do like them in that sense and that nora's really like focused on her career and she doesn't really care at this moment and i would say in general about like having a family and stuff like that she's very career focused and yeah i kind of like that she's very i don't want to say self-involved but self-involved not in a bad way um and yeah love this book i gave it four out of five stars ah, okay the next book that i read is the summer i turned pretty by jenny han if you don't know this book is coming out or going to be made is made into a television um yeah te television series adaptation on amazon prime so excited it comes out i want to say like june 15th or june 17th something like that and i had to read the first book and it just like i read this in like two days like it was so cute you can honestly read it in one sitting but I, I had to stop a little but this book is about belly and her brother who i can't think of his name right now comrade and jeremiah and how they always go to this beach house during the summer and just things ensue after that i don't want to give it away i have to say if you want me uh or you want to know what team i am on i am team i would have to say Jeremiah like Jeremiah and I'll just 
just leave it at that. Like, I love Jeremiah. But yeah, I love this book. I gave it four out of five stars. Um, honestly, I would probably give it like five out of five stars. I might change it. It's just super cute. It's honestly, I don't know. Yeah, it's YA, but it's just like cute YA. You know how there's some YA and you're just like eye roll suck teeth. Okay, well, this one's cute. This one's so stinking cute another book that's so stinking cute i read it happened one summer by tessa bailey whoever said that this book is basically like watching slash reading a lifetime movie is so true this book is so cute it's about piper and brendan and if you don't know piper's kind of like the social elite in hollywood um, and then she does something that she shouldn't have. Her father cuts her off and sends her to this town where her biological father um, once lived before he passed away. Um, and yeah, I guess that's why I kind of a spoiler, but it's true. He passes away uh, in like a fishing accident. So she goes to this fishing town. She meets Brendan and her and Hannah are there. And it's so cute. I... Oh, I just love everything about this book. It's so cute. I do have Hulk, Wine, and Sinker. I'm super excited to read it. And I rated this book four out of five stars. And yes, I mean, just look at the cover. Oh, cartoons on the cover. So cute. But love. The next book that I read that I also gave four out of five stars to is Twilight. I actually bought the whole Twilight series hardcover um on ebay for like under 30 bucks and i made myself a uh, promise that i would try and read the series because i'm just really obsessed with the movies i've actually never read the book this is my first time reading the book i have to say though i gave it four out of five and though i pictured it like i was reading it and i just read it so fast that honestly i pictured it like it was the actual movie I still don't get the hype around Bella in this book. Like, Bella definitely picked me girl energy, but also I don't get the appeal. Like, when you think about her and how she's described, I'm just like, okay, and Also, I know people on TikTok say this, but Jacob was like 15, 15, 16. I'm not saying what he did was right when it comes to imprinting, but like, it kind of makes sense because doesn't the story of Twilight, the whole series takes place in a year, right? A year or nine months. Like, I, I'm not saying it, it's kind of gross what I just said, but I mean, it, it makes sense. Like, in a way, like, he wasn't mentally developed in like a sense of he's never been loved. I don't know. We can debate about it in the comments. Maybe I should make a own, my own separate like video on Twilight, but yeah I love it I do I like I jot down slash like underline so much stuff in here but the characters very interesting I do think it's interesting that Rosalie is portrayed the way she is in this book because in the movie I feel like we see a lot more Rosalie compared in the book I don't know okay then the last book, I gave Archer's Voice five out of five stars. This is by Mia Sheridan. This is worth so much of the hype. I do have to say that if you feel like you're going to be spoiled or you just seen too much of this book and you're just putting a lot, a lot of like things or coming in with a lot of like preconceived notions or just like, I don't know what it's called. A lot of expectations. There's the word. Beware. But I love this book. I've seen so many TikToks, so many, I shouldn't say TikToks, but just a lot of posts on Bookstagram praising this book, people talking about quotes in this book, so many annotations within this book. And I have to say, I ate this book up. Like it was Archer, mm, so cute. I think we're gonna have to make another video about this because I did think it was gonna pull a Penelope Douglas. Um, if you ever read the ending of Credence and I thought that was gonna happen but something else did. And I just love this book. I love Brie. I love Archer. So cute. Again, another book boyfriend. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend it. If you don't know what it's about, it's basically um, Brie has just, I'm going to put it out there, a traumatic past and she moves away. She goes to this town called, I think it's Peloton in, in Maine. And one day at the grocery store, she like 
bumps into this man and it, it was Archer and she, yeah, the story kind of goes from there. I don't want to give everything else away, but the story goes from there and she's just so intrigued by Archer and she just always finds ways uh, trying to talk to him. And it's just super cute and their story's so cute. And um, yeah, oh, also get the one with the exclusive extended epilogue because it's so cute. It's, oh, I love this book. But yeah, I gave it five out of five stars. I have to say my lovely reading journey. I've read, oh God, six books this month. I picked some pretty good ones. Like there are months where I pick up a book and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> ooh, I don't know if I like this or not. But these, so good, so good. But yeah, that's it for, or that's all I have for today's video. Let me know what I should read next or what's on your TBR for June. I have not made my TBR video for June yet. Um, I have to say though, if we look at my TBR video for May, I think I stuck to two books, two books out of like the six that I said I was going to read. So yeah, I never follow my TBR. I hate making like, this is what I'm going to read because sometimes I read something and I'm like, mm, I'm not driving with it this week or this month. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.